Now, in the previous lectures, we understand how to use string in the Python program. But still, we don't know how to use it. So in this lecture, we're going to talk about how to use string in the Python program. So let's take a look at how to use string in the Python program. A Python string is useful when displaying some text. String is nothing but a simple collection of characters. For example, if I just create here a variable, string1, and then specify value, this is a Python string, then this is what we call a simple string. We specify the collection of characters in the double quote. So this is what we call a string. If you want, you can use single quote as well. Let's get rid of this double quote and specify single quote here. Now this is also a valid string. But here, we use single quotes and the results are the same. So why do the Python allow both? To find the answer, let's take a very simple example. I'm going to get rid of this value and here I'm going to just create a string and print let's go. You can notice when you try to print this string, you're going to get an error message. Let's say if I just say here print string1 and when I execute this statement, I'm going to have an error message, invalid syntax. I'm going to have the error message on this apostrophe s. The Python interpreter doesn't know what to do with this s. Now let's inform Python to use this s as apostrophe s. So let's get rid of this single quote right from here and specify here double quote, just like this. And when I try to execute this statement, I'm going to have message, let's go. So in the double quote, you can specify your single quote. Python will consider this as apostrophe s. Now this is what we want. If you want, you can use backslash as well to add single quote. Let's say if I just get rid of this double quote and specify here single quote like this. And if I want to use a single quote here, then I'm going to just specify here backslash, just like this. When I execute the statement, I'm going to have the same result. Now we know that why Python use a single and double quote to create a string. Now let's take a look at how we can concatenate two string in the Python. I'm going to get rid of this statement and create here two variables. Now I want to concatenate both these variables. So to concatenate both these string variable, I'm going to just say here print and in the double code i'm going to say example of and then i'm going to concatenate both these variables so to concatenate variable you can use plus operator the plus operator act as a concatenation so i'm going to just specify here plus then specify string one plus string two so the plus operator act as a glue between these strings so this will just concatenate all these strings when I execute the statement, I'm going to have example of string concatenation. Now, suppose you have a very long string. If I just display here in the double code, this is a long string. Then you can notice when I execute this statement, I'm going to have the result. But it use double code on the next line as well. So if you want to write a really long string, one that spans several lines, you can use triple codes instead of using ordinary codes. For example, I'm going to just get it off this line from here and i'm going to just get rid of this statement as well and i'm going to just add here triple quotes just like this and in this triple quotes i'm going to create my long string i'm going to say here this is my long string spawn several lines so if you want to create a string that is really long when that spawn several lines you can use triple quotes now you're not limited to only specify this triple quotes in the print statement you can specify that to the variables as well to store the long string value now if you want you can use triple quotes as well just like this to wrap this long string that doesn't matter now let's take a look at how you can create a raw string in python now let's say you want to store a path or the file in the variable you will create a variable path and you specify the file path in the double quote as a string and then you use print statement to print this path i'm going to just simply get this string now what if you want to put this text on the next line you can notice here we have this text on the single line. I want to put this file word on the next line. So I'm going to say here backward slash and specify here n. So this raw string will move this character on the next line. When I execute the statement, I'm going to have the file on the next line. Just start that, what if you have a file path in this string? For example, let's say you have a file in your document. You will just specify the path of your file in the double code as a string. When I try to print this statement, you're going to get an error message. This is because we use backward slash to specify the file path. The Python interpreter treats this backslash as an escape character string. So how do we solve this? If you want to solve this problem, you can either use double backslash, just like this. When I execute this statement, you're going to have the file path. Or you can use a raw string. This works fine. 
But what if you have a long file path? You wind up with a lot of backslashes. So to solve this problem, you can use a raw string. I'm going to get rid of these backslashes right from here. And instead of specifying these backslashes, you can use R here as a raw string. So this is going to be a raw string. So when you try to print this statement, you're going to have your file path. Now you can put anything in the raw string. That doesn't matter. You can use the escape string as well. For example, we understand to move the text on the next line, we can use backward slash with n. When I try to do that, I'm going to have the same result. I'm going to have this backward slash with the escape string n as a raw string. Now, I hope you understand how to work with string in Python. In the next lecture, we are going to understand how the Python data structure works.